morning YouTube. Uh, I hope everybody had a nice Thanksgiving. This video is going to be a, a brief review and a follow-up range report on my Rock River Arms 24-inch varmint upper that you see here with the 24-inch uh, bull barrel. Okay, so I took uh, a couple of factory loads with me and I took a bunch of my own um, reloads. Uh, the premium factory load that I was able to get locally in time to take to the uh, range that day was this product here. It's the Federal Premium, the gold medal match with the 77 grain Sierra Match King. And uh, this is a great load. Um, I've used the same product in 308 with the 168 uh, Match King and um, it performed just as well as, as uh, as the 308 did. Here's the 10 that I had left over. Let me go ahead and show you the uh, target at 100 yards. Okay, so let's uh, direct our attention right here. Oh, nope, that's not it. That's the Nosler. There we go. That is the, the uh, gold medal match with the 77 grain Sierra Match Kings. Overall, this group was uh, 0.629 MOA. And if you throw out that little flyer right there, that's a 0.327 MOA group. Um, I was pretty happy with this. That, that, that's more along the lines of, of what the upper is capable of. I wish I could say I shot this well with every load, but I, but I didn't. But there you have one of your um, premium match grade factory loads at 100 yards. And incidentally, all of the measurements that I'm going to be giving you today are in MOA and these have all been done with the uh, on-target ballistic software so um, they should be reasonably correct in terms of group size and, and MOA okay in general with a, a 1 and 8 inch twist I think this upper um, does better with heavier bullets uh, but I did go ahead and and try out some of the lighter bullets and I got pretty good results with the uh, Nosler ballistic tip varmints. And it's not a um, match grade bullet per se, it's a Spitzer design. I'll show you one right here. But uh, it did pretty well. And I had a couple of moments of brilliance with it and I'll show you that right now. And here we go. Those Nosler Ballistic Tip 55 grainers using um, a relatively light load of uh, H335 powder. Um, if you toss out that mistake of mine, that flyer down there at 6 o'clock, that is a .772 MOA group. Yeah, not too bad. All right, And then here is another target. Now this one, overall the group is not that great. I measured it out at uh, 1.453 uh, MOA, but look at that three-shot cluster right there. That's a just under 0.3 MOA group. So, again, in the hands of a, a better shooter with and, and or somebody with better equipment, um, this thing just performs flawlessly. But that's what it that's what it's capable of. I just wish I could get it all the time. <laughs> This product here from Hornady showed a lot of promise, and I'm going to be buying some more of these. This is the um, match grade 68 grain hollow point bullet. This one right here. Beautiful little bullet. And I got some pretty good results with it. Let me show you that. Here's that uh, Hornady 68 grain bullet with uh, CFE 223 powder underneath it. And uh, overall, I was still sub MOA with this group, 0.954, and just look at that 0.13 three shot uh, MOA three shot cluster. It's basically three bullets uh, almost on top of each other. So uh, that that right there is what um, again a, a better indication of what this um, varmint upper is capable of. And let's look up over here. This is that same Hornady bullet using H335 powder 
and uh, no flyers here. I was able to get a very respectable 0.596 MOA group at 100 yards, and that's five shots. So, as you can tell, um, if you're a hand loader, a reloader, this is a, a nice um, upper to have because it's just very fun to uh, experiment with different charges and different bullets and, and narrow it down and find out what it likes. So far it looks like um, this upper does well with a 68 grain and above bullets. I'll show you the 69 grain Sierra Match Kings uh, right now. Now I didn't measure this group with the software, um, but I can tell you that, that the four shots right there that you see, that's sub MOA, and then I did have that one flyer. And that was using the CFE 223 at 100 yards. And here's a better, here's a better group. Um, CFE 223 again, Sierra Match Kings, and got myself a .685 MOA group. Not too bad. And that's this bullet right here. Okay. Uh, of course, Sierra makes some of the best bullets around. And you can always pretty much guarantee that you're going to get good performance out of them. Okay guys, before I talk about um, the review portion, let me just go, uh, go ahead and show you some of the results at 200 yards. I did take a, a few shots at 200. Uh, here's the first one. Here we are with that Hornady 68 Grainer again. And uh, I just missed shooting an MOA group, 1.225. Um, I did learn some valuable uh, lessons out on the range that, uh, that day. And um, it's that I, I can't use these paper targets at 200 yards, at least with my scope. It's just um, it's too hard to see where the reticle lines up with the, uh, uh, the crosshairs here on the target, unless you're using the main, um, the big group in the middle of the target. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> be ordering some of the um, orange uh, Caldwell, I believe. They're like the shoot and seize. Um, and I'm, I'm going to be using those. And these circles are just too small to see um, effectively at 200 yards. But anyways, here is the Federal uh, factory load, a gold medal match at 200 yards. I did have that. That was an obvious flyer. I mean, you can tell there's four shots right here, and then all of a sudden, uh, I'm pretty sure I jerked the trigger or something. If you count the flyer, 1.384 MOAs, um, and if it's if you exclude the flyer, look at that, 0.549 MOA at 200 yards. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh, I almost forgot. There's one more group at 200 yards. <clears throat> this is with the Nosler 55 grain uh, varmint bullet. 1.124 MOA for the five shots. And if you toss out that flyer right there, it goes down to 0 0.703 MOA. And again, that's at 200 yards. So I was, I was pretty happy with that as well. Okay guys, now I'm, um, I'm just going to wrap this up by giving you some of my thoughts, <clears throat> initial impressions on this uh, Rock River Upper. Um, as far as I've seen so far, it's, it's a very high quality product. It's capable of exceptional accuracy um, if you do your part. And, you know, I apologize, I wish my shooting skills were a little bit better so I could show you what this rifle, um, this Upper is truly capable of. But I got um, a couple signs of it that day at the range, and I uh, hope you were able to, to glean that from this video. I'm not the best shooter around by any means. Um, in the hands of somebody that's more capable, uh, this thing could probably be just as accurate as a, as a good quality uh, 223 bolt action rifle. It's really that good. <clears throat> Having said that, and uh, you know, in my defense, I, I think what limited me was um, a couple of things. The, the main thing was that I was using a, um, a standard um, factory trigger on the lower, and it's not um, a match grade trigger by any means, it's just a regular stag lower, like mil spec trigger. And uh, I think if I had a, a nice match grade, or at least a two stage trigger, 
with a nice crisp break, I think that would help a lot because the trigger that I was using is just, you know, you just pull and it breaks. There's no take up. There's no, um, it's not match grade. Let me just say that, you know, a better trigger would have helped me. Not sure how much, but um, I think it would make a difference. And that's probably going to be something that I'm going to be looking at buying um, next year. Maybe a, a jewel, or if that's too expensive, maybe a, just a nice Timney trigger, something like that. Just anything, you know, uh, something better than, than what I was using. Uh, the other thing, you know, the scope that I was using on the uh, rifle, kind of had a tough time getting um, a good eye relief. And to that end, I'm going to go ahead and order, I believe I'm going to order the Burris uh, AR Pepper, P-E-P-R. Uh, scope mount, which gives you better eye relief, kind of positions that scope further forward on that rail, and I think that'll help me out because it was it was not too comfortable shooting this thing. I shot about 200 rounds out of it, so it it did get a little tiring trying to get that eye relief. But no excuses, you know. I'm a grown man, and I can tell you that this thing is much much better than I am. And that takes me to my uh, final point, and that. That's that this upper is kind of a, a nice teaching tool because I mean, let's face it, there's only a handful of people that can outshoot this thing. You know, just the very, very best shooters, recreational shooters like myself. Uh, this is a great learning tool because it really points out your mistakes and, and magnifies them. So I think it was a good purchase. Um, got a long ways to go to catch up with the. Um, inherent accuracy of this uh, upper, but it's uh, it's great fun. I, I really enjoyed shooting it. Um, now, disadvantages are, if you're a hunter, this thing is very heavy. Uh, when I have this upper on there, it's it's heavier than even my 308 Remington 700. So this is something that you definitely want to shoot from a rest or a table, you know, if you're shooting varmints or whatever. I, of course you could lug it around, but it, it, it's quite heavy, so that's probably the main disadvantage. Um, muzzle report was, was very smooth. You know, um, if you guys have been at the range and there's somebody next to you with a, with a short AR or a, like one of those AR pistols and it's got a muzzle brake, it's not fun sitting next to them. And this thing is quite um, quiet for a, for a 223. And uh, recoil, the 223.556 has very little recoil, but with this upper, it's almost imperceptible. Very comfortable to shoot. You could shoot this thing all day long. You know, you could have a new shooter, a youth, child, uh, first time shooter. It's not going to be a problem. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review and range report. Wish I could have shot it better, but uh, it is what it is. Here's what I picked up at the. Um, reloading store that day. I'm going to give this a, a try. Benchmark uh, powder from Hodgdon. Heard some pretty good things about it and then picked up some of these Amax 75 grainers and I'm going to be trying those out next time. We'll see how they do and I'm going to have to get some of those 77 grain Sierra Match Kings as well. They're expensive but it looks like it's worth it. Hope you guys have a good rest of the holiday weekend. And uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks.